Imagine a time before we'd seen Jupiter's storms, before the swirling clouds and iconic Great Red Spot were anything more than distant mysteries, or Neptune's blue glow up close, its icy winds and deep azure hues still hidden from human eyes. In 1977, humanity launched two spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, on a mission that would forever change our view of the cosmos, opening a new era of exploration. Voyager 2 launched first, set to visit Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, a rare planetary alignment that wouldn't occur again for 176 years, making this opportunity truly once in a lifetime. This was our one shot at a grand tour of the outer solar system, a chance to see worlds we'd only glimpse through telescopes. The Voyagers weren't just robotic explorers, they were emissaries, carrying the hopes and curiosity of Earth and a message for any who might find them. Packed with instruments, they became our eyes and ears in the unknown, ready to capture data and images never before seen. Engineers like John R. Cassani knew this was more than a mission. It was the start of an interstellar saga, a bold leap into the vastness beyond our home planet. The launch from Florida was a moment of optimism, as a Titan 3E rocket sent Voyager 2 on its way, watched by hopeful eyes around the world. The spacecraft, a marvel of 1970s technology, was built to endure the harshness of deep space, withstanding radiation, cold, and the unknown. No one knew how long it would last, but its mission was clear. Explore, discover, and keep going, no matter what challenges lay ahead. Voyager 2 began its lonely trek, leaving Earth's comfort behind, its radio signals growing fainter each day as it ventured farther from home. Using planetary gravity, it would slingshot from one world to the next, gaining speed and momentum with each encounter, propelled deeper into the unknown. This was the beginning of a story still unfolding, a testament to resilience, discovery, and our quest to understand the universe, inspiring generations to look up and wonder. The little probe that could was on its way, carrying our dreams into the cosmic dark, a silent ambassador on an endless journey through the stars. Voyager 2's journey was a cosmic game of billiards, a daring adventure across the vast expanse of our solar system. Using gravity assists, it slingshotted from planet to planet, gaining speed and changing course with each close encounter. Its first major encounter was Jupiter in 1979 where Voyager 2 revealed the Great Red Spot as a raging hurricane, far larger than Earth itself. It also discovered active volcanoes on Io, the first time eruptions were seen beyond our own planet. These weren't just pretty pictures, they revolutionized our understanding of planetary systems, sparking new questions and inspiring generations of scientists. Voyager 2 showed us that outer moons were dynamic, complex worlds, with icy surfaces and hidden mysteries waiting to be explored. Next came Saturn in 1981, where it unveiled intricate ring structures, revealing patterns and gaps never seen before. Voyager 2 also glimpsed the hazy orange atmosphere of Titan, hinting at a world shrouded in mystery. Each encounter peeled back another layer of mystery, revealing the unexpected and challenging what we thought we knew. Then, Voyager 2 became the only spacecraft to visit Uranus and Neptune, venturing farther than any probe before it. Uranus appeared as a tilted mysterious world, spinning on its side with faint rings and a pale blue hue. Neptune dazzled with fierce winds, wild storms and the discovery of the great dark spot, a storm as dramatic as Jupiter's. Voyager 2 studied Triton's nitrogen geysers, witnessing icy plumes erupting from the frozen surface. It also discovered new moons and faint rings expanding our map of the outer solar system. With Neptune's farewell, Voyager 2 completed its legendary grand tour and set course for the edge of the solar system, carrying humanity's curiosity ever outward. The most daring chapters of its journey were just beginning, as Voyager 2 sailed into the unknown, beyond the reach of the sun. Leaving the planets behind, Voyager 2 entered a new phase, exploring the vast region shaped by the solar wind. The sun creates a bubble of charged particles called the heliosphere, shielding us from harsh galactic radiation. For decades we could only guess where this bubble ended. Voyager 2 was sent to find that boundary. The heliosphere is crucial, it deflects dangerous cosmic rays that could threaten life on Earth. As Voyager 2 traveled outward, it measured the solar wind slowing colliding with the interstellar medium. The boundary, called the heliopause, is where the sun's influence fades, and interstellar space begins. Crossing it means leaving the solar system's protective domain, Voyager 2's mission, to sample what lies beyond, opening a new chapter in cosmic exploration. By crossing the heliopause it became our first direct witness to the galaxy beyond. 
the edge of our solar island had finally been reached. In November 2018, after an incredible journey of 41 years, Voyager 2 finally crossed the heliopause, the outermost edge of our solar system, and entered the vast unknown of interstellar space. This was a historic milestone, marking humanity's second probe to ever leave the protective bubble of the sun. Its sensitive instruments immediately detected a dramatic change, a sharp drop in the solar wind, and at the same time a sudden spike in galactic cosmic rays, revealing a new and mysterious environment. But what truly stunned scientists was the discovery of a region filled with superheated plasma, a so-called wall of fire, with temperatures soaring up to 50,000 degrees Celsius, far hotter than expected at the edge of our solar system. This wasn't a raging inferno like we see on Earth, but a thin, almost invisible plasma, so sparse you wouldn't feel it yet so energetic it could strip atoms apart. It's a reminder that space is full of surprises. Here the solar wind after traveling billions of miles from the sun, collides with the interstellar medium creating this unexpected and powerful shock front, a cosmic boundary unlike any other. Years earlier, Voyager 1 had found a similar feature, confirming that this wall of fire is a fundamental aspect of our solar system's edge, not just a one-time anomaly. This discovery revealed that the boundary of our solar system is not gentle or quiet but instead dynamic, turbulent and violent, a place where extreme physics rule and the environment is constantly changing. Understanding this mysterious firewall is crucial for learning how stellar systems interact with their galactic environments and how cosmic rays and energetic particles move through space. Even at the very edge of what we call home, the cosmos continues to surprise and challenge us, revealing new mysteries with every discovery. Voyager 2 didn't just cross an invisible line, it punched through a wall of fire, braving the unknown, and kept going into the depths of interstellar space. With this bold journey the universe had revealed yet another of its astonishing secrets to us. Beyond the firewall, Voyager 2 sent back another surprise. Scientists expected the sun's magnetic field to end at the heliopause, but Voyager 2 found it intertwined with the galaxy's magnetic field. Instead of a clean break, the sun's influence shakes hands with the galaxy, connecting magnetic fields across the boundary. This suggests our heliosphere is more porous and interconnected than we imagined. The discovery raises new questions. Does this linkage let cosmic rays in? Does it change our shielding? Voyager 2's findings force us to rethink our place in the galaxy. Even with 1970s technology, it's revealing deep truths about our cosmic environment. Exploration always brings more questions than answers. Ulted to Voyager 2 is the Golden Record, a 12-inch gold-plated disc carrying the story of humanity. It's a time capsule filled with images and sounds from Earth, intended for any intelligent life that might find it. Led by Carl Sagan, the project included greetings in 55 languages, music from Bach to Chuck Berry, and the sounds of our planet. The record comes with instructions and a cosmic map pointing to our sun. More than a greeting to aliens, it's a message to ourselves, a symbol of hope and unity during the Cold War. The golden record could survive for billions of years outlasting Earth itself. It's a whisper of our existence, a testament that we once looked up and reached out. Voyager 2 carries our story into the stars, it's humanity's message in a cosmic bottle. As of August 2025, Voyager 2 is 167 astronomical units from Earth, 167 times farther than the Sun. At 38,000 miles per hour, it's hurtling through interstellar space. Its radio signals take over 23 hours to reach Earth, a round-trip conversation takes nearly two days. Soon, it will be a full light day away from us. Despite its age, Voyager 2 still sends data powered by a slowly decaying plutonium generator. Engineers have shut down non-essential systems, but key instruments remain online, measuring interstellar space. Every bit of data is a precious postcard from the void. The spacecraft's resilience is remarkable, surviving radiation, cold, and technical challenges for nearly 50 years. Voyager 2 is our farthest active explorer, pushing the boundaries of knowledge. Its faint whispers remind us how vast the cosmos truly is. One day, Voyager 2 will fall silent, its power source exhausted, its instruments dark. But its journey will continue, drifting through the galaxy for eons. In 300 years it will reach the Oort Cloud, the solar system's distant frontier. It will take 30,000 years to cross this icy realm, and 40,000 years to pass near another star. Voyager 2 will wander the Milky Way, a silent ambassador of Earth. Its legacy is twofold, 
revolutionizing our understanding of the outer planets and interstellar space and symbolizing our boundless curiosity. It showed us volcanoes on Io, geysers on Triton, and a firewall at the edge of home, but above all, it reminds us of our audacious desire to reach for the stars. Voyager 2's endless journey is a monument to the best of humanity. Its story will echo through the cosmos long after we are gone.